सर मैं स्टार्ट जाएं सर यार ओके सर थैंक यू गुड मॉर्निंग मडियर बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स ऑफ टीएसआरएस तेलंगाना वेलकम बैक टू अवर प्राइस वेबिनार क्लासेस ऑफ टेंथ क्लास सोशल स्टडीज This is P. Vijayendra, PGT Social Studies from Bandarpalli. My dear students, we are continuing our third chapter in Social Part Two. That is National Movement, Partition, and India Independence. 1939 to 1947 still now we have to successfully completed two topics one is about should the war be supported by the indians and the second topic yesterday we discussed that the muslim league and the hindu mahasabha and rss and students the muslim league was very played very important role in the in the separation of country it was formed in 1906 especially for the benefits and for the protection of muslim communities or muslim peoples in the country already we discussed them mohammad ali jinnah was the important person in that muslim league earlier stage in initial stage of this organization it was very weak and gradually after 1939 it became very popular image among the muslim community in this process it also raised for separate country for their only muslim people and also we discussed about that their doubts and their objections on congress party and also their fall and rising stages of muslim league and also we discussed about the hindu mahasabha and rss it is one of the another organization it was formed for especially for hindus and to reform the hindu religion in the country rss also one of the important an organization for the especially in hindu religion so these two organizations played very important role in, a, in our national movement as well as other uh, history of the country my students today we are going to discuss about the, the related matter about the these these organizations and other information my dear, dear students please listen carefully and watch the slides carefully and whenever you have doubts and i can clarify at the end of this session now i am going to share uh, slides for your better understanding and uh,
Congress acceptance of the Muslim League formation and conducted elections in 1937 and Indian National Congress group photo and a Muslim League organization for their uh, position decreasing and increasing the span of 20 or 30 years. And Muslim League objections on Congress and Hindu Mahasabha and the RSS. Now we are going to discuss about the Hindu Mahasabha. It is one of the important organization, especially for uh, to reform the Hindu religion. My dear students, all of you listen carefully. They also, third point, they also gave out the message that India was the land of the Hindus who were in a majority. So in our, in our country, majority people are Hindus, Hindu religion people. That's why they are always treated that this country is, belongs to only Hindus. So here many congressmen were also impressed with the activities of this organization. Many Congress leaders, Indian National Congress leaders and members, they were also attracted to Hindu Mahasabha and their activities. Number of Congress leaders were joined in the Hindu Mahasabha, they taken subscription in the Hindu Mahasabha. Congress tried very hard to create a secular understanding among its members. Actually, Congress Leaders, they were the members in both organization. Muslim men, they are the they were taken membership in Muslim League, and uh, Hindu people, Hindu Congress leaders, they were taken membership in Hindu Mahasabha. That's why, especially Indian National Congress, try to uh, try to create a secular try to create a secular image in the society, it's very hardened to Congress party. Why? Because their members also member in the Muslim League as well as the Hindu Mahasabha. That's why it had some uh, different, it had faced different situation in the society. It also tried to connect with the Muslim masses and make them feel secure. Whenever the more members are taken Hindu Mahasabha subscription and again other Muslim men also members in the Muslim League. So that's why now they were try to become a neutral position between these two organization. Now you can see Hindu Mahasabha group photo. This is the original photo we have to take it from the Google and you can see the some of the members met together. This is Hindu religious people, Hindu Mahasabha. Now, actually the Congress, they wanted to change the wrong impression that was being created in their minds by the message and activities of organization like the Muslim League, the Hindu Mahasabha and the RSS. So 1939 at that time, due to the objections of Muslim League. So now the members of the Congress party gradually, they were completely left from these both organizations. Now they were uh, feel like individual, they were became a neutral position. Uh, they are completely make a distance to uh, both leagues like Hindu Mahasabha and Muslim League, they were now try to um, give the message to the people, we are a secular party, we are a secular party, this type of message and they were conducted different type of activities. By conducting these activities, uh, they try to make the people, it is a, a national party and it is a secular party. So this type of activities now conducted by the Congress party uh, to prove they are not uh, belongs to a Hindu Mahasabha and they are not uh, belongs to Muslim League. Now they try to conduct the number of activities and to send that message to the people, into the people 
it is as a national and neutral uh, party congress argued that hindus and muslims were not people of two different nations but part, that parcel of one indian nation actually again they raised a question to the both nations both organizations like to hindu mahasabha as well as muslim league actually muslim members muslim league and hindu mahasabha these both organizations are belongs to purely india uh, indian country they were not separate nations they are not out of the country actually they are these simply these are both organizations are within the country that's why they are also purely belongs to india so that is the main argument by the congress party however the british were eagerly listening to the fears of the league about hindu domination and suggesting ways to the make the muslim secure whenever they uh, against to the congress party british uh, government started to blame the congress party and also blame the hindu mahasabha and also they completely given more support to the muslim league and they were given more chance to to strengthen muslim league in india why because muslim peoples are very less in population they were feel like they were treated as minorities in the country that's why directly and indirectly british government given more support to the muslim league for the dominate to the to weak the hindu mahasabha as well as the congress party so here british government played very uh, important role to divide the uh, to create the more conflict between the congress party and hindu mahasabha and muslim league actually both these are all the conflict between the organizations and congress party those are completely created by the only british government not hindu mahasabha not muslim league and not congress party especially these disturbances was completely were created by the only british government to weak the congress party as well as the hindu mahasabha they, so the, in this process they were given indirectly and secret support to the muslim league to uh, for their strengthening now we are going to discuss about the, the pakistan resolution pakistan decision we are all known about that if pakistan today is our neighbor country uh, in 75 years 80 years back it is uh, uh, that that place is also one of the uh, region in our country it is also treated as our country so the west side portion of the rajasthan and gujarat and jammu kashmir that now that place is called now pakistan so pakistan how it was separated from the india now we are going to discuss about that many people now felt that the separate governing arrangements were needed for regions where muslims were in majority so in some all over india in some places most of the people belongs to muslims like uh, united provinces and uh, sindhu area and uh, the western part of the country the eastern part of the country like bengal and um, mumbai madras in such places muslim population is very high so uh, in that places the people wanted to uh, have separate government they are always wanted to self rule especially they wanted to establish their own muslim government whenever they establish their own government they can fulfill their needs and demands they can satisfy their needs with their own government that is their uh, main intention of the uh, muslim people in particular where they majority in that area so for example the urdu poet mohammad iqbal we are all known about that sare jahan se acha hindustan hamara that uh, uh lyrics was written by the uh, urdu poet famous mohammad iqbal uh, spoke a need for the north west indian muslim state in his presidential address to the muslim in one uh, in meeting that uh, person especially poet mohammad iqbal he was given a speech in that at the time, that time he given hint or a, he started a uh, different type of idea that is north west indian muslim state that is the separate state or place it is only for the muslims so first of all he 
raised or is shown that separation of the places in the country by the Muhammad Iqbal. Muhammad Iqbal started a separate place for the Muslims. That place also called North West Indian Muslim States Union. In one meeting, he given that idea to the Muslim people in the country. Now, my dear students, you can see Pakistan political map. The light yellow color, uh, gray color. It is uh, completely. You can see the Pakistan map. You can see Islamabad, their capital, and right side our India and left side. You can see Afghanistan country, and north side some border sharing with China and Tajikistan, and uh, you can see the west side Iran country also, and completely south side. Arabian Sea. These are the natural and political boundaries of the Pakistan country. Uh, 75 years or 80 years back, it is also one of the place in our India. It is called West. You can see as per the uh, Muhammad Iqbal, North West Indian Muslim State. Now that Pakistan was called by the Muhammad Iqbal North West Indian Muslim State. now it is separate country as are as we all know that pakistan country my dear students you can the pakistan word used by rehmat ali shaudari rehmat ali the name pakistan or pakistan pakistan or pakistan here p means in that uh, uh, abbreviation p means punjab a means afghanistan afghan or k means kashmir C means Sindh and also Beluchistan. These these are all the places combined as one word, Pakistan. That was completely that word delivered by the a Punjab Muslim student at Cambridge, Chaudhary, Rahmat Ali. He was a research scholar and a student in Cambridge University. He was used that Pakistan word. What is the what is his name? Chaudhary. Rahmat Ali was delivered first time the Pakistan word in uh, Cambridge University. Are you understand? Pakistan word delivered or used by the Rahmat Ali Chaudhary Rahmat Ali. He was the Muslim student in Cambridge University, Punjabi Muslim student. This young student wrote pamphlets between 1933 and 1935. He was completely. He uh, wrote number of pamphlets and given number of speeches, and he was always stressed about the Pakistan word and separate Pakistan country. He was uh, published number of pamphlets between the span of 1933 and 1935. He desired a separate national status for this new entity. He always wanted a separate national status for the Muslim re regions. No one took Rahmat Ali seriously in 1930s, especially the League and the Muslim leaders who dismissed his idea merely as a student dream. Actually, earlier stage, he was delivered that word, he was stressed about that word, and he given speeches and he published number of pamphlets for the separate state of Muslims, and he he did a lot of work towards the separate of the Muslims, but he never. Uh, never took the about his about his speeches and about his ideas. And at the same time, he, they were dismissed these ideas. And it is like a, a student dream. They were never took up this idea and his uh, speeches and his writings.
Okay, my dear students, some technical problem is there. Chaudhary Rehmat Ali, you can see the photo of Chaudhary Rehmat Ali with raising flag of Pakistan in 1930s decade. This is the photo of Rehmat Ali. Actually, he was the uh, first person who used the Pakistan word. He belongs to Punjab Muslim uh, community and uh, he was the student of Cambridge University. He did a lot of uh, work for the separation of Pakistan. Sorry for the disturbances. On 23rd March 1940, the Muslim League moved. On 23rd March 1940, the Muslim League moved a resolution and demanded autonomy for the parts of the subcontinent where Muslims were in majority, especially in. On 23rd March 1940, at the date 1940, 23rd, Muslim League moved a resolution. They would take a decision in a meeting and uh, where the Muslim peoples were very high. Autonomy resolution never mentioned part partition of Pakistan. At the time, they never mentioned a separate country. Just they wanted autonomous power where, they, where the Muslim peoples are very high or in majority. Just they passed a resolution for their autonomy powers of particular places. But at the time, they never mentioned a separate country or separate uh, states. However, in later years, after the 1940, it became known as the Pakistan resolution. At the time, what the decision they were taken in 23rd March 1940, the resolution gradually became a uh, resolution known as Pakistan resolution after the 1940. People were thinking of different ways to solve the issues raised by the league and a new nation state of Pakistan was one among these alternatives. Now, after the 1940s, by the conducting activities and the motivation of the Muslim League, most of the Muslim people in the country, they were strongly believed that uh, one and Or they wanted separate government and separate country for their Muslim community. These are uh, successfully in this issue. The Muslim League completely successfully, completely no, successfully succeeded. succeeded.
ओके जलन रेडी व्हाट हैपेंड नाउ क्लियर ना सर बिफोर बिफोर पेज 2.0 दिस टू पॉइंट्स वर नॉट रीजन बिफोर इट्स ओके चौधरी रहमत अली रेजिंग फ्लैग अप द पॉलिटिकल सिचुएशन इन इंडिया ओके औ अवेवर इन लेटर इयर्स इट बिकेम नोन एज व्हाट पाकिस्तान रेजोल्यूशन सो पाकिस्तान इज वन वन एंड ओनली सॉल्यूशन टू देयर ऑल problems this was uh, believed by the all the muslims community but since the discussions and negotiation were not working out the idea of separate separate nation state of pakistan became stronger so it, after that since the discussions and negotiations were not working out actually after the taking of the decision immediately they were uh, there are no any there were no any taken any discussions and negotiations about the idea of the separate nation and pakistan the congress was unable to fulfill the demands of mohammad ali jinnah leader of the muslim league some demands put before on the congress party by the mohammad ali jinnah those demands were not fulfilled by the congress party this is also one of the cause to they demanded strongly for the separate pakistan country now from 1942 1946 the league convinced the muslim masses yeah completely in the six years of span the muslim league completely convinced motivated the muslim masses about the benefit sign the need for a separate nation now i hope you are understand well in the span of 1942 1946 the league was completely succeeded to motivate and to convince the muslim masses for their separate nation for their benefits for their benefits fizens could imagine a state where hindu zamindars and money lenders did not exploit them some of the muslim fizers they are also strongly believed that they never cheated they never exploited by the hindu zamindaris and hindu uh, money lenders money lenders whenever they separate as a separate state separate country uh, they never will be uh, exploited the money lenders and zamindaris even the muslim peasants also believed this traders even businessmen and job seekers and employees could think of a state where competition from hindu traders businessmen and job seekers would not be there there would be a greater religious freedom there would be a great religion who are the uh, businessmen traders and employees and job seekers also they were also completely believed that they have a tough competition from the hindu traders hindu businessmen hindu job seekers that's why they were also wanted separate uh, country to avoid this type of competition and they also uh, wanted a uh, religious freedom it is it's can we can they can avail this type of religious freedom in their own nation so this type of uh, motivate uh, motivation this type of issues completely imported injected in muslim community successfully by the muslim league now who will make the british quit india who will make the britishers from the uh, quit from the india by 1941 actually muslim league they are completely concentrate on their separate uh, country and uh, congress uh, it has uh, some imp- uh, some uh, severe uh, problems they were faced uh, because of muslim league and hindu mahasabha and uh, from the britishers also so here one question there who will make the british quit india by 1941 japan had started expanding into south east asia this is also one of the problem during the second world war 1941 means during the second world war the japan it is a completely opposite uh, country of the british that was to, that was country started expanding into south east asia because east asia for example arunachal pradesh our eastern states was completely captured by the japan armies they were started they expanding 
to occupy the Indian land. This was clear threat to Indian territories as well. Whenever the Japan had started expanding into the, it was clearly known that it was very threatened to India and Indian territories. It in the war against to seek the full support from the Indian to stop. 1942, Churchill was persuaded to send one minister, Sir Stoppard Cripps. All of you understand that Sir Stoppard Cripps was the name of the that minister to India to try and make a compromise with Gandhi and the Congress. At the time, Prime Minister of Churchill, Prime Minister Churchill was Britain, uh, was sent some of the three members committee to India to start a negotiation and to establish a good environment in India and to increase the rapport between the Gandhi Congress and as well as other organizations. That's why he, he sent Sir Stoppard Cripps mission to India to compromise, make a compromise with Gandhi and the Congress party. But these talks failed after the Congress insisted that the Viceroy should first appoint an Indian as the defense member of his executive council. But the negotiations between the Sir Stoppard Cripps mission between the Congress and Gandhi, those are completely failed these talks and also the Viceroy should first appointed as Indian at the time, defense member of executive council. So uh, this is the information between the Stoppard Cripps mission and uh, negotiations between the Cripps mission and the our national leader. Now, what about that Quit India campaign? This is the important movement in India in 1942. After the failure of the Cripps mission, Mahatma Gandhi decided to launch the third major movement against the British rule. Satyagraha and uh, disobedient movement and uh, Quit India, these three great movements were started by the Gandhiji. It was the third movement started by the Gandhi that is Quit India movement completely against to the British rule. This was the Quit India campaign. This is famous, famously it is called as Popularly, it is called as Quit India Campaign. This campaign began in which month? August 1942. Although Gandhi was sent to a jail at that time, yeah, whenever it, it was started by the Gandhi, it was, he was arrested and sent to jail and other young activities also, uh, they were also put them into jail and uh, strikes and uh, sabotage all over the country. Uh, whenever they uh, started the individual Satyagraha and Quittitia movement all over the country, those members are completely arrested by the British people, British uh, uh, police, and they were put them into jail. The young men and women left their colleges to go to jail in very large numbers all over the country. Even the students and employees and all the people of con common people and also they were ready to left their colleges and left their jobs and they are ready to go to jail in very large number in masses. Even socialist members of Cong the Congress such as J. Prakash Narayan were uh, particularly active in the underground resistance movement. Most of the national Congress leaders and other active members were uh, completely put them into jail and the other socialist leaders like J. Prakash Narayan and Adi either uh, his colleagues, they were completely continued the Quit India movement in underground resistance. In several districts such as Satara in the west and Medinipur in the east, independent governments were declared. At the time in some places, different places of India like Satara and uh, Medinipur in the east, they, those states are sorry, districts were completely declared as independent. They were established their independent governments in their districts. They were declared as independent, selfly, and they were started their own government in their such places also. The British responded with a lot of force, yet it took them more than a year to suppress this rebellion. 
at the time the british agnesh they were also greatly suppressed this type of uh, this quit india movement and almost it to taken uh, one year more than one year to suppress the completely quit india movement by the great force of the british police this is about quit india movement is was the great movement in india it was started by mahatma gandhi and uh, the common people students and uh, all the leaders and uh, active members involved very actively they were completely went to the jail and uh, some of the members also continued this particular movement in underground so some of the districts and places also declared self declared as independent they were established their own government in india now you can see the photo that is related to quit india movement quit india movement now the communist party of india cpi cpi in the meanwhile decided to support the british war effort it is also supported the communist party of india in india they were also given more support or great support to the british war it was on the at the attack on the soviet union by the nazis why because the soviet union completely captured by the at the earlier stage of the second world war nazis were the, as a upper hand they were completely gradually attack the soviet union and they were occupied the soviet russia soviet union means russia was occupied by the nazis that's why uh, our cpi party completely uh, given more support and great support to the britishers to uh, against to the nazis uh, against to the hitler nothing but hitler it realized that danger at a whole level and called it the war a people's war so whenever the nazis are gradually occupied the soviet union and other countries at earlier stage they were realized that it is very dangerous situation whenever uh, hitler maybe uh, it will capture the total countries in the europe then it will be dangerous to the world that was completely fear of the communist party that's why they gave her given more support to the britishers on the contrary gandhi ji felt that indians would be able to end this japan on their own after the british leave india whenever the japan occupied the east india then the britishers were wanted support to, from indians but gandhi ji in that time gandhi ji given his idea about the japan occupation to india we can handle that issue with the japan whenever you left from the country we can handle easily we can handle smoothly with the controversy with the japan this is the version by gandhi ji at that time you can see the the flag of cpi m means marxist the initial victories of japan against the americans and europeans created a strong impression on the people in india at the earlier stage in second world war the small countries they were completely have upper hand against to the america russia and britain so this type of victorious victorious situation its uh, impact or influenced the indians also indians also great influenced by this victories of small countries against to the, the powerful countries of britain france america and russia firstly it seemed that european colonialists would get defeated very soon it seemed that european colonists they were completely are defeated by the uh, nazis and uh, other uh, against the countries secondly japan was asian country and could stand up against to the european colonist actually japan was the uh, member or it belongs to asian country so it always stand up against to the european colonialism that's why most of the our indian peoples are very attracted to the japan japan idealism they were given support to the japan country whenever the In, in the during the second world war indians felt that two can stand up and fight against the britain decisively as per the uh, taken uh, impression of the japan and we can also uh, easily defeated the british country and we can easily uh, remove the british rule in india whenever we became a uh, 
decisively strong then we can completely against to the britain them the might that the british the myth the that the british race was superior than others was destroyed in the minds of people so actually britishers are always feel like very superiors and the remaining people they were completely treated as indians and other uh, african people they were completely treated as very inferior and uh, they were always treated as degraded people they were insulted to the uh, other people they were always uh, uh, feel like uh, very superior in the world so we can easily uh, destroy this type of feeling in the britishers minds of people now subhash chandra bose wanted to take up the opportunity created by the difficulties of the british at the time britishers also faced very severe problems during the second world war in their own country as well as in india because of japan and other hitler and other against countries so at the time subhash chandra bose was taken a great decision and uh, he was taken some important decision in that in that time he said that india's independence was at most important and we should take the help of the japanese to throw out the british at the time subhash chandra bose was strongly believed that we can easily remove the british rule and we can easily send the britishers from the uh, from our country whenever we taken the help from the japanese he went to, uh, secretly to the germany and japan and collected an army of indian soldiers in 1942 at the time even he went to the germany secretly he went to the germany and taken help from the hitler and also from that place he went to japan uh, and collected our indian soldiers and he make a indian army in 1942 that is called indian national army now you can see the real photo of subhash chandra bose indian national army indian national army come he was arrested by the british police now who were these these soldiers actually collected in uh, indian soldiers in germany and even japan also but who were the in these soldiers in japan in the beginning these indian soldiers were in the british army actually our indian soldiers are completely uh, fight against with the other countries we have fought the britishers that's why our indian soldiers completely in the british army they had been captured by the japanese when the british were defeated in burma and malaya actually japan gradually occupied our india at that time our indian soldier completely caught or captured by the japanese so that's why our soldiers completely captured by the japanese army they were lived in japanese at that time they were prisoners of war actually our soldiers are treated as prisoners of war they were completely captured or caught by the arrested or caught by the japanese army that's why our indian soldiers some of the indian soldiers they were completely stayed in japan bose recruited them in his army which he called the indian national army whenever bose entered into the japan and he gathered our prisoners of war our indian soldiers and make a indian national army with the help of our indian soldiers in japan later other indians also joined the army including many women after that our indian uh, people and also some of the women also uh, joined in that indian national army it was started by the subhash chandra bose however gandhi did not agree with the plans of bose actually main intention of the chandra bose subhash chandra bose whenever we have to take in uh, help from the britain and we started a indian national army we can easily uh defeated britishers in our country but this type of idea did not accepted by the gandhi he did not agree with the plans of bose why because he always maintained peaceful way he did not wanted to war with the britain but war wanted by the war is essential this type of idea is uh by the subhash chandra bose he adopted violent way but gandhi quietly gandhi ji adopted a peaceful way to get freedom with the britishers he felt that japanese cannot be the liberators of india he also uh, felt that 
Gandhi also felt that Japanese then never uh, played very important role. They never uh, given to us to leave the uh, never become a liberators of India. They never helped to us to fight against to the Britishers in India. They did not wanted support to from the Japanese army. That is the main uh, thought of the Gandhiji. But Subhash Subhash Chandra was continued in his chosen path. But against to he never uh, taken decision from the uh, Gandhi, and he continued his activities and he continued in his way. Let an army of Indian soldiers to fight along with the Imperial Army of Japan against to the British for almost three years. He was taken the help from the Japanese army and he continued the uh, war against to the British. Almost three years he continued that war against to the Britishers. This time was very dramatic and difficult for the entire world. In the during the Second World War, it is a very difficult situation to all the countries. At one point, it had seemed that Allied powers losing, losing the war. At the end of the Second World War, Japan, Germany, and uh, the Allied powers completely defeated by the uh, colonial powers like uh, Britain, France, and uh, America. But Russia stopped the Nazi force with the victory in Stalingrad. The Allied powers re re regained control the and eventually won the Second World War. Subhash Chandra Bose, INA was defeated by the British Army, unexpectedly, Japan Army, and even our Indian National Army was completely defeated by the uh, British Army at the end of the Second World War. After this, it is not certain whether Bose disappeared or died. At that time, it is was uh, suspected uh, issue was continued still now. He was uh, either disappeared or died. It is completely mystery even now. In June 1944, when the war was about to end, the British government released Gandhi from prison. It is a whenever we near to the ending of the Second World War, at that time Gandhi was released by the uh, from the jail. They set the time for another round of negotiations and talk for Indian independence. Whenever he released from the jail, and again he started some talks between the British government as well and other organizations. My dear student, this is our uh, today lesson. I hope you understand well. It is completely uh, related to the our national movement. Sir, I pay the sir. Uh, almost time, 11.48. Oh, time is I over. Pay the, sir. I pay, sir. Thank you, sir.